Efectivamente nos encontramos en el stand del editorial Porrúa que nos ha hecho favor de regalarnos cinco libros para los cinco primeros lectores que nos visiten acá. Entre ellos se encuentran las hazañas del Cid Campeador y desde luego las historias de terror de Edgar Allan Poe. Cinco libros para nuestros cinco televidentes. Y mientras llegan esos cinco, les invito a que veamos una entrevista que tuvimos la oportunidad de realizar con Jim Parkin. Él es miembro de los estudios Arman, unos estudios de animación en plastilina que han creado diversos personajes, entre ellos Sean the Sheep o los de una película que usted seguramente recuerda, Pollitos en Fuga. Seguramente usted conoce a este personaje, esta caricatura, Sean the Sheep, entre muchos otros que el estudio Artman, el estudio británico basado en Bristol, ha hecho desde los años 70. What is the story behind uh, Sean the Sheep? What's your collaboration in Arman Studios? Okay, well, um, this little chap kind of joined us in the, in the 1980s and uh, he started uh, in uh, Wallace and Gromit, so in the close shave, and he was one of the whole flock of sheep that were involved in the storyline. And then kind of things went quiet for Sean for about 10 years, 10, 15 years, and then we decided to, that he was a strong enough character to bring him back. I'm uh, kind of a team leader and I lead uh, teams of model makers and sculptors who bring all the puppets like this little chap to the screen. So there are, are around 800 of these uh, different characters that go into making all the series and episodes of, and films of Sean and it's my job to kind of produce these and kind of maintain them throughout the shoot. Is there any secret to this success of Clay Motion? I think, um, I think the secret to its longevity and I think um, and its actual success with competing with, as I say, when I started out, the kind of Toy Story and all of those kind of CG projects were coming out and, and it looked like it would wipe us out. But I think it's, it's down a lot down to this stuff, to the plastilina, to modeling clay, and its simplicity. It's one of the earliest forms of cinema. And I think that's what gives it, it's, kind of, it's got a realness, they've got a weight, they've got character. Um, well, we have a saying at Ardman Animations, and that's to keep, well, you'll see it on this little chat, that's to keep things funny and thummy. So we're trying to keep the fingerprints in there and not hide the fact that they're made, they're actual physical objects, and they are made, everything of, the, you know, of this is made by hand, the walls, the farmhouse. Size of oh, no. I've been working for nearly 20 years in stop motion um, and I joined Ardman uh, to work on Chicken Run so I started off making sanding chicken bums and uh, making beaks and cheeks and wings and all the bits of chickens eventually I progressed to whole chickens and then the baby chicks at the end. You were also involved in teaching these workshops to children. When did you start? What have you discovered? And I started with Arman uh, doing outreach uh, to schools and to festivals and then starting to travel the world um, about five years ago. And uh, really, I find there's very little difference between the children of Mexico or Singapore or Hong Kong or back in the UK. They, they, they all have a great joy of getting, getting down and dirty with the clay and getting covered in, in black clay and, and just and mixing all those colors together. Tiene que ser como un huevo, que es la cola. Las patas las hace como unas lombrices, cuatro lombricitas y luego bolitas abajo. A las bolitas les hace como una línea y luego hace como dos caniquitas. And just by breaking it down into these basic shapes, sausages and eggs and food items basically, or ge basic geometry, it means that a, a child or an adult, we say children 5 to 95 really, could come along and break down these characters into these basic shapes and end up with something that looks pretty close to what you get on screen. And that's a really nice thing for them to be able to take away with them and either then take them to the next stage and animate them or put them on their shelves or in their bookcases and show them off to their friends and keep them for years. Having a good time.